Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back into the Farm Sim Weekend Updates, where we look at all the new news updates and everything that's going on in the world of Farm Sim. Guys, we've got a lot of things to kind of go over. It's been a pretty hectic week, of course. We've got some new stuff right on the horizon as far as DLCs goes. We've got a patch coming out right away. We've got a bunch of new equipment. And, I mean... We even have a new mobile game coming on the horizon. Yeah, I know I don't want to get too much into it yet, but we're going to talk about it briefly, all right? So let's dive in and get into all this new stuff because I'm not going to make it in time otherwise. Let's go. So let's start off by talking about the Vermeer DLC, which releases on Tuesday, August 23rd for Farming Simulator 22. Of course, this DLC is coming with five brand new pieces of equipment. They're Vermeer branded pieces of equipment. We're getting a bale buster. You're getting a rake, also a Vermeer mower, Pull behind mower, very interesting. And as well, two different balers. You're getting a round pull behind baler as well as a self propelled baler. Kind of a first in Farming Simulator to have that self propelled baler. Now, the Vermeer DLC is $7.99 unless you get it before August 22nd. Then it's only $6.99, guys. Of course, if you are a year one season pass purchaser, then you're going to get this one for free. This is part three of the DLC in this year one season's pass of four, originally four. Now it's five. Now there's technically five things that are part of the year one season pass, kinda. You know what, let's move in, let's start talking about that. Yes, that's right, another piece of DLC is coming to Farming Simulator 22, the Euro Grape Liner Series 7000, which includes two new pieces of equipment. And once again, this is included if you have the year one seasons pass. This pack includes two different pieces of equipment. Like I said, the 7175 XV and the 7200 XV. Both of course are grape harvesters, somewhat similar, but a little bit different. But these are only available really with the seasons pass right now. There was some talk also of making them available with purchases of the Farming Simulator 22 Beacon. If you wanted to purchase a hard copy of some sort, not exactly sure how that's going to work for the North American market yet. There may be some other ways of purchasing this. Not much has been released yet on how you're going to purchase this if you do not have the year one season's pass as of right now. Not sure what I think about this personally. If this is the thing that pushes you over to buy the year one season's pass, hey, all for it. Uh, I know this is an interesting piece of equipment that won't be for everybody, but if this is one the one thing that does it to get you to buy that year one season's pass, I guess, to get the rest of the DLC, then by all means, have at her. I am, however, still a little bit nervous on the marketing on how to purchase this. If you do not want the year one season's pass, you only want this one piece of equipment. It seems a little bit of a mix mash right now, so we'll have to wait and see exactly how you purchase this if you don't want everything else. Now, also, the day before the Vermeer DLC is dropped for Farming Simulator 22, we'll be getting an update. Update 1.7 will be live for Farm Sim 22 on August 22nd. Now, this update includes a number of different things. However, the most notable one, of course, will be the fix for Xbox users who are having problems with save games, loading save games for Farm Sim 22. So this patch will be live throughout the day for all platforms on August 22nd. Now also included in this update, guys, is a brand new piece of equipment. That's right, we got a brand new piece of equipment for all platforms hidden in the update. The Kloss Liner 4900 business is coming along with the 1.7 update for everybody. It's a brand new piece of equipment. You're gonna get a brand new wind rower or rake for Farming Simulator 22. And it's the first time we've seen Kloss as a implement. I believe in base game. Very interesting. Yeah, this is the biggest wind rower will be base game. At uh, 15 meters, it's bigger than anything else you're going to find. Of course, there are mods that are bigger than this, but this is the biggest base game wind rower now in game. Now, as far as what's coming up in the future, another new update, which we haven't talked about on this channel as of yet, for the most part, is the pumps and hoses DLC, which releases later on come September. I believe it's the 27th of September. Now, this is another DLC pack by a third party. So it is not included in the year one pass and it's just been announced at FarmCon this past year this pack's going to include well a whole plethora we don't know the exact number as of yet on how much equipment this will include but it is going to be more focused on manure and slurry distribution uh, along with bio uh, biogas plant configurations so this may be something a little bit different there's a new mechanic that's going to be installed into farming simulator as a dlc who will give you more options to use your manure and slurry of course that new mechanic will be able to drag hoses now for delivering the manure and slurry throughout our fields like i said this will be a dlc available on september 27th and it will be 17.99 us dollars of course this is not included in the year one pass. Yeah, this is something we should probably talk about, guys. This one caught me off guard a little bit. I mean, this is done by a third party, Creative Mesh. 
is doing this particular DLC and it is not part of the year one pass. So you will need to buy this separately if you would like this pack, which is a little bit different. I love the fact we're getting another DLC this year for Farming Simulator 22, but I don't love the fact that it's not included in the year one pass. And I try to play devil's advocate here. I understand that maybe this was something that Giants didn't see coming at the time, but when they promised the year one pass, it was advertised in a sense to be encompassing everything that was going to be released this year for Farm Sim 22. So you could buy this once and not have to buy anything else for the rest of the year. At least that was the impression I was under. Now, the fact that we have another DLC is being released and yeah, you still got to buy it no matter what. If you want to get everything for Farming Simulator 22, you're going to need to buy this DLC as well. This is not going to be included in that. So it is a bit of a mixed messaging problem. I think they have here on this particular issue. And I would have loved to have seen a way to find to push this into the year one pass. But of course, if you are still looking to pick up some DLC for Farming Simulator 22, whether it be the Vermeer DLC, the year one seasons pass, or you just want this new pumps and hoses pack coming later on this year, you can go down the links into the description below and make sure you use the code clutch sim at checkout. Moving on from Farming Simulator 22, let's talk about, well, a brand new mobile game that's been announced for, well, iOS and Android coming later this year. This one is not done by Giants. Giants last mobile game release was Farming Simulator 20. This is a brand new game done by Squad Built. I know the name might sound a little bit familiar. This is American Farming to release late 2022. Now, of course, this is a mobile only game coming Android and iOS. I'm, I'm sorry, Switch users. And it will feature a bunch of North American style brands. It's going to focus primarily on North American farming, of course. Brands include Parker, Brent, Kilbros, Top Air, Case IH, DMI, Universe, Blue Jet, and of course, Max D. So there's some big brands in there for a first time game. So the announcement trailer was released roughly a month ago, and now we've moved into, well, a gameplay trailer of this brand new title. So very excited to see where this goes, get a little more competition out in the farming simulator market. And very excited to have a brand new mobile game release. Hopefully we'll get some more information on this soon and maybe uh, get some demos going later on this year. And of course, if you're looking for these trailers, I'll post the links down in the description, guys. Go check out the announcement trailer as well as the gameplay trailer for American Farming. So that's going to do it for the new news for the week, guys. I want to know more about what you guys think on the DLC. For, this is going to be somewhat controversial for my question of the week. How do you guys feel about all the DLCs that have been announced for Farming Simulator 22? Do you think Giants did enough with new DLCs this past year? Are you happy with them? What are your thoughts going back from the Antonio Carrera pack and thinking through all the DLCs from Kubota Vermeer, uh, the pumps and hoses stuff, and as well thinking ahead towards the Platinum Volvo Forestry DLC coming at the end of the year. Thinking about all of that encompassed into Farming Sim 22, are you happy with the work they've done to get new equipment and new stuff into the game. I'd like to see what your thoughts are. Vote in the poll. Let me know if you thought they've done a pretty good job of that, if you think they could do more or you absolutely detest it. I'm curious to see what you guys think there. That's all. I know, somewhat controversial, right? Anyways, thanks again for joining me today in this, well, reboot to the weekend update. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and uh, get ready for all well, the fall. It's gonna be getting busy again. So cheers to you guys and we'll see you guys very soon. All right, this is Glad Show over and out.